difference in our local lakes. Our work began by asking good questions regarding research and data and how we could have a positive impact on Paintsville Lake. In 2022, we performed a DNA sample, relative weight sample, and a habitat bill. Relative weight data was concerning and hinted at a couple of issues. Number one was under harvest of largemouth bass. Number two was deteriorating habitat from a lake that's almost 40 years old. Number three was a limited fortage base, and number four is limited fertility. It is impossible to address all of those issues, but we think we can use our Facebook page as a source of reliable information going forward to help educate anglers on the impact that we can potentially have. Please follow AFI on Facebook. This past week, in a partnership with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources, we stocked 50,000 threadfin shad in Paintsville Lake, 20,000 were stocked at the ramp, and 30,000 were stocked at the intersection. Threadfin were once stocked in Paintsville. They stocked 11,000 for three consecutive years in the mid-90s. Many anglers remember the jumps and that you could catch a lot of small bass out of those schools of Threadfin just out from the ramp in the middle of the lake. Our winters were much different in the mid-90s than they are in the 2020s, and that's one of the reasons that we believe Threadfin can ultimately be successful. Threadfin are pelagic, meaning they school in open water in large schools, almost acting like a single organism. Currently, Paintsville Lake only contains gizzard shad, Threadfin can potentially spawn two to three times in a season, whereas the gizzard shad will only spawn once, providing an obvious benefit to predator species. Re-establishing Threadfin will be a difficult task with the overpopulation of small bass. Relative weight showed Paintsville has too many small bass. Some of these bass are stunned or not growing. They actually consume more nutrients or more resources than they are worth to our system. Adding Threadfin and continuing to put back all those small bass won't help us improve our lake. And this is one of our major obstacles going forward is promoting healthy harvest of largemouth bass. That relative weight data has been examined by biologists across the country and all come to the same conclusion. We have to harvest more small bass. Paintsville has potentially never required bass stockings in nearly 40 years of its existence due to the fact that bass get off a great spawn every year, almost too good. Threat from will have challenges going forward. Cold winters where water drops below 40 degrees can cause shag kills. Threadfin will need supplemented over time for this reason. Threadfin are just one aspect of planned improvements for Paintsville Lake. This year we have two habitat projects planned. The first coming up soon, building habitat for the Casting for Kids boardwalk. We're accepting donations towards that project now. The second coming this summer with an additional habitat build comparable to the one we did late last summer. We want to give a huge shout out to American Sportfish. These Threadfin traveled nine hours to Kentucky and we lost very few Threadfin. These guys were awesome to work with. I highly recommend American Sportfish. Our local biologists were even impressed with their ability to truck these Threadfin nine hours. You can follow Anglers for Improving Opportunities on Facebook. You can also PayPal your tax deductible donation or mail it to 3910 Kentucky Route 1750. Let's leave Paintsville Lake better than we found it.